So with Alex Wasabi being successful in his creator clash fight against iDubs in what was, you know, somewhat of a close fight. However, skill wise, seems like it was a, a decent bit of a lopsided fight. Honestly displayed that he's not only improved at boxing, but he might just be ready to get back in there at the higher levels of the social media boxing space. And honestly, with Deji fighting in just a few weeks here against Swarms and KSI tweeting out that maybe Alex Wasabi should fight the winner of Deji versus Swarms, I think that this is a great time to break down his boxing ability and just how much Alex Wasabi has improved. Now guys, I gotta say, I gotta say, at this point, Alex Wasabi's been winning his fights. Obviously, he had to pull out against KSI, but that is what it is, and that's certainly not a loss. This showed great improvement, but a few key things that he still needs to work on, so let's dive right into this. Right away, something you see about Alex Wasabi is he looked loose, and he looks really comfortable. Now, a few things that we do notice, you know, he's very open with his guard here, as in he doesn't really have a guard. And this is something we're going to talk about later. Whereas Idubs, you know, credit where credit is due, is doing a much more traditional stance. He's keeping his right hand where it needs to be. He's keeping his lead hand out, ready to jab. Alex Uswap, he's a bit, a bit open, right? And you can see here, just right away, a very traditional boxing stance from Idubs, whereas Alex Wasabi, a much more open boxing stance. And he's, he's something you can see here from Wasabi is... There, there's a good pause of it, is he's keeping his hands open and forward. Now, this is really, really common in MMA and in mixed martial arts. And what it is, is it's allowing yourself to see your opponent clearly and then parry the shots as they come in, right? So your opponent might throw a jab and you'll parry that shot as it's coming in. And you're, you're able to kind of utilize this open vision and open tunnel much more clearly. Now, it, it's super common in MMA and specifically in Muay Thai. But in boxing, it's just not used that much. Well, why? Well, the reason it's not used that much is when you start over relying on your ability to parry, what you start to do is you start to open yourself up to feints and shots around that guard, right? So it's pretty simple here that if I'm open like this and you throw a feint jab and I come down to parry that jab, well, all you gotta do is feint that jab and then boom, loop around and the hook is gonna land. So decent reads here and he makes some good reads with his parries but i would like to see a more traditional kind of bring that guard back in and then parry from here and that's all the parry needs to be triple g does it better than anyone that i can think of in this sport canelo obviously does it amazingly as well and these are good examples of being able to be in your guard where you can just block a shot if it comes at you but also parry alex wasabi is not really doing that he's a bit a bit too open a bit too loose you can see here he's really focusing on being relaxed. And I think that's a really good thing, but he's almost like, it seems deliberate. And another thing that we see about Alex Wasabi here is it seems like he doesn't know what guard he wants to use. So he'll he'll switch to a Philly shell and then he'll go back to being open and then he'll kind of do a trick. Like he's kind of all over the place with his guard. Whereas Idubs is a bit more traditional. Now here's the thing that is good. And we can see him come in and land a nice combination and stay loose and smooth. That was a good five punch combination. And then he's right back in Idub's face, keeping his position well. But right there, you can see he gets caught clean. And watch how he gets caught clean. Idub's comes in with a simple double pump jab and then a straight piston right hand across. And Wasabi doesn't really know what guard he wants to use. Boom, gets caught clean. What does he do well? Comes back with a nice counter, pivots off goes for the body and then makes that distance and throwing out jabs the whole way, circles back around. So offensively, he actually looks quite developed here. He looks like he's much more active and much more willing to string punches together. Nice jab there, Idubs kind of coming back a bit sloppily. But Idubs, man, he's just keeping it crisp and keeping it clean. Like, does he look super athletic? No, but like, this is what I've been telling people for the years I've been on this platform especially if you're new to the sport, don't be fancy. Just do the basics and do them okay, and you would be shocked how far that can carry you. You know, people always say, uh, a good right hand will take you around the block, a good jab will take you around the world. If you just focus on those two punches, man, you can make a huge dent in other people's boxing. Whereas Alex looks a bit too focused on the other aspects of boxing, and it seems like his fundamentals are lacking here right so we can see when he starts getting back to that jab 
He starts to really implement his will here, and he starts landing these great combinations. But it's when he's trying to, you know, defend and everything that he's having a bit of trouble. Great job from Alex there. Another one. One, two. Big combinations coming forward for him. And Idub's shelling up and, and able to survive because he's just kind of doing what you're supposed to do when you're getting hit. Let's dive into the later rounds here because this is usually where we start to see this style of boxing kind of fall apart, right? It's it's very easy to be very crisp and clean when you have a lot of energy. It becomes a lot harder when you're losing that energy. Nice big right hand, good timing from Alex Wasabi. Trying to make a, a read with that lead hand. And then he gets clobbered because he doesn't know what guard to use. A very simple guard would have blocked that combination. Now, something that I do like from Alex is he's doing what we call setting traps. So this is a good technique where you're trying to bait your opponent into a big shot. So what you do is you open yourself up, you give a false open look, and that's what he's doing right here. He's being really, really open. And then you kind of wait for your opponent to come towards you, see the opening. As you can see, Idub's lead hand falls down as he's moving forward. He's kind of being lulled to sleep by Alex's movement. Boom, Alex whips a right hand out. How does Idub de deal with it? He just puts his hands up. Pretty simple stuff. Now, if Alex Wasabi just put his hands up, a lot of the punches that Idubs is landing here wouldn't be landing. As you can see there, that's an effective use of the parry. He was able to parry that lead hand, but it just doesn't put you in a great position. It's kind of a, a weak example of how to defend yourself when you can just do it better. <laughs> like it, it, what, what's the only thing that's frustrating here is there's just a clear, better alternative. That doesn't mean that there's no benefit to what he's doing. It just means that there's a better way to go about it. So what he's trying to do here is kind of like a catch and counter. So as you can see here, puts his hands up again, the hand facing forward, kind of strange. Both hands now facing forward, still kind of strange. But what he's trying to do is he's trying to wait for that shot to come and then he's gonna parry and boom, hit it with a counter. And he does it really, really well. So this is another example of a good trap being set. Boom, and he whips that counter. Idub reads it and slips out of the way, which is a great a great read by Idubs. But Alex Wasabi is doing a good job at trying to set that catch. But it shows here that he's just not comfortable using a traditional guard, right? You can see even here, he's got one hand here and then the other hand just kind of like forward. This is a strange position to be in. Why? Because if you punch me around the side, I'm not blocking it. I can only parry because I can't, unless I'm gonna slap you in the forehead, which is just a weird punch, there's nothing I can really do from here. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? If I'm here and I parry, I can parry, or I can right hand, or I can left hook, or I can slip an uppercut. If I'm here, I can slip in what? Like like slap you across the chin? Like it just it's just not a position that's as favorable as the standard boxing position would be, if that makes sense. And then it bites him here because he's trying to fill his shell. He just gets swarmed by Idubs doing pretty simple stuff. But a big right hand there on the break. Good movement there. Nice jab. You know, kind of seeing the punches of Idubs really, really well. I think that's a good point here from Alex Wasabi is specifically the start of the combination. He sees really, really well. So, you know, he, he's getting caught with the fifth the sixth punch, he's rarely getting caught with that first and second punch. As you can see there, he times it really well. Rydubs comes in, he lands a big right hand and then a left hook because it's that first punch that he sees really well. And it's that first punch that he's really preparing for, right? By setting these traps and doing these things. And, and he, he actually is like quite good at that. And he's clearly, you know, putting himself in a position where he wants to be on the back foot, be able to counter, be able to interrupt people. It doesn't look like he wants to be coming forward, which is probably why he's developed this more parry style because he's trying to take advantage of what his opponent's doing. So guys, what are we seeing here from Alex Wasabi developmental wise? Well, we're seeing a lot of cool improvements. And the first one being that he seems much, much more comfortable in the ring. He seems to be much, much more aware of the shots coming towards him and just overall more ready for the moment. And I think he deserves a lot of credit for that. We see a much better improvement in his ability to time shots coming in and land clean counters over the top. We see better, more drawn out combinations from him. But on the defensive side, we still see a lot of issues, if I'm being honest. And I think they're issues that for a guy like Alex Wasabi, young, athletic, motivated guy, he's gonna be able to fix. And I think that with some good, clear coaching on how to be able to implement these new techniques to him, 
he'll actually be able to implement the techniques that he's gotten better at even better. So it's just gonna be about him being able to do that and to implement that better. Some good examples that I'm talking about are being able to set your traps in a more traditional guard, guarding down here, right? Using less overall movement and more slight movement with your feints, right? More, more limited movement with your feints and still being defensive. And the reason that this is such a great resting position for your hands is because even when you're sloppy, even when you're caught off guard, you're not caught clean. It just doesn't come through clean. Even if the punch comes out of nowhere and you don't see it, maybe this hand will just kind of block 50% of it. And stuff like this, where you're kind of more open, trying to counter, trying to, trying to catch these shots coming in, trying to be elusive with your hand placement, it just opens you up to the potential of essentially beginner error. And at the end of the day, these are newer boxers. So for him, just kind of closing that in and then combining that with being able to catch and counter being able to land these nice jabs and set these good feints, right? And set these traps where you're bringing one hand down and makes your opponent think it's available, but you know, you're just reeling them in. That's gonna make a big, big difference. So at the end of the day, I think we see a, a pretty a pretty good development from Alex Wasabi, but there's still some very clear gaps in his boxing game that he's gonna need to plug if he wants to go up against a guy like Deji in the rematch, where Deji seems to have improved quite a bit. Now, this to me makes it a really, really exciting fight because Deji's improved so much so clearly and Alex Wasabi is clearly improving as well, but in very different ways. And I think that this makes it a much more intriguing fight again. Now, at the end of the day, if Swarms wins and Alex Wasabi goes up against Swarms, Swarms' straight laser-like punches that we've seen him throwing, that would be a real problem for someone doing an open guard like this. So at the end of the day, I'm really curious to see what he does. I'm pumped that Alex Wasabi is back. I'm pumped that he's healthy and adding to the space yet again. I think he's a great addition to the space and I want to see him on Misfits hopefully soon. Take it easy, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.